Knight's storyline is all over the place, and as soon as we understand a single thread of it, they add more lore to confuse us yet again. Today I collected the best 6 theories about the direction of Fortnite's storyline in an attempt to predict the future. So sit your butt down for 10 minutes, slap code Adamaru to support videos like this, and let's uncover what Epic Games is planning in Season 8. Okay, a super quick recap. Since Chapter 2 began, we've slowly had the lore of the world handed to us, which affected the following seasons like Dominoes. Season 2 saw a top secret device built to fight the storm, which eventually brought an agent from the real world into the loop to prevent us from escaping. Agent Jones then went too far and broke the very thing he was here to protect, the Zero Point, by overusing a shard from it to bring in new heroes to defend it. Jonesy then defected at the beginning of Season 6 and went against his superior to find a member of the Seven, a group we know little about right now. We've seen three members before in Chapter 1, the Visitor who attempted to find the original Zero Point, the Paradigm who we'll talk about very soon, and the Scientist who demolished the Zero Point in an attempt to break the cycle. It failed, we still remain. The newest member of the Seven is the Foundation, and judging by his comments, he's been around the longest and is their leader. Just as we were about to get answers from the Foundation, he was forced to seal himself in the Zero Point to protect reality, and Agent Jonesy became lost in the loop. And then an alien race appeared and took the Zero Point, leaving the Foundation somewhere around here, in a lot of water. And that's a very quick update. I missed some things, like Aquaman was around at some point. No. And now on to our first theory. The past is the future. One of the first things we all noticed about the alien mothership was its resemblance to the vault back in Chapter 1. The same style aperture opening and metallic outer casing. Back then we jumped into the vault which housed the zero point. We were all too preoccupied with voting for the drum gun to make Twitch streamers cry. We also missed lots of other clues about the future. We'll leave those there for another theory later in this video. Many people have suggested that the mothership above us will become the vault below us. We know the current mothership has the zero point, but how could the ship become the ground beneath us? Simply put, the mothership must crash on the island. Fortnite leaker Fort Tory uncovered this sound file which confirms this theory. One minor detail. If we take down the mothership, the crash landing is not going to be pretty. A few billion tons of flaming debris crashing into the island is bound to cause some problems. You'll have to be creative, but I trust you. Sloan wants to crash the ship onto the island. And that's a big ass ship. But that doesn't make the past the future. Well, let's crack on. Remember the black hole event? That reset the timeline like never before. A whole new island to discover, but many places already existed in the old world. How could that be possible? Well, the key to all this is the basic concept that everything is a loop, constantly restarting over and over and over again. Now, let's go back to Jonesy's actions in season six. He used the portal device to bring back the foundation. Not only did this change the time frame of the loop, it literally brought back the dawning of time, the primal era, before technology, before the zero point became active. Theoretically, by taking us back in time, it is now possible to shoot down the mothership and over months and years, build on top of it as we all lose our memories again and eventually the loop catches up, back to the future. Back to the vault, the past is the future. What do you think of that theory? Please rate each theory out of 10 in the comments. Let's find out what's our favorite. Okay, another one. Theory two is the DC season. If you didn't know, over the past few months, the Batman Zero Point comic book series has given us a bunch of lore to help us build an image of the future. If you want to see each episode in detail, be sure to check out the series. But right now, I'm going to spoil the ending. So run away if you don't know how that ends. Are they gone? Good. Batman and Catwoman are successful in escaping the loop and returning to Gotham, but we then find out it was all a ruse and the person behind it is none other than Sloane, Jonesy's former boss and the person giving us missions each week in the game right now. Sloane has partnered with Lex Luthor and the Batman Who Laughs to find a safe way in and out of the loop successfully. The last images of the story show us that they made a new rift, not in Gotham this time, but in Metropolis, the home of Superman. And as you already know, Clark Kent, Superman, has made it into Fortnite. 
Remember earlier when Sloan spoke about a weapon to bring down the mothership? I always thought it was the bomb we see in the IO buildings, and it very well could be, but what if Superman is the weapon? And all the work Sloan and Lex Luthor did was to bring Clark Kent here to be the puppet of the IO. The chap in charge of all the creative story decisions in Fortnite, aka the Donald we call Mustard, told us that Superman will have a very important role to play in the season, and I for one would love to see Superman single-handedly take down a mothership, wouldn't you? Speaking of Donald Mustard, he has repeatedly found a way to include a sculpture of Wonder Woman in his posts, including one at the Rift Tour event this week. It's been going on for so long now that she must be on her way. And there's also a few new series of DC Fortnite comic books coming. And judging by the end of the Zero Point run, we'll be seeing the Batman Who Laughs and Lex Luthor in Fortnite soon. And remember, the Joker, Poison Ivy and another Midas snapshot are already here, just waiting to be relevant. I personally have no doubt a DC season was slated, but there was a great deal of people who disliked the Marvel season, so the DC season may be postponed. How would you feel about a DC season, with Sloane and Lex Luthor teaming up? Theory 3. Singularity is the Alien Queen For this one, we need to go all the way back to the Gaiju Mecha fight in Chapter 1 Season 9. This is still my favourite event, by the way. This was the season that Singularity appeared to us and seemingly was responsible for building the mech, which eventually stopped the monster. I mean, even the sword that was used to skewer the monster had Singularity as the handle. She's definitely important to this. And then suddenly, the mech just left, flew straight into space, never to be seen again. But let's go back a little more than that to the unvaulting. Remember the items on the table near the zero point? Here we could find Singularity's helmet, inside the vault. If we take a page out of Theory 1 and say the vault is an alien craft, this could mean Singularity is aboard the mothership this season. Things get very interesting now. Recently I've started thinking Singularity has very similar armour to the aliens. And then this bombshell hit me. The final variation to the suit they wear is called Singularity. And wait, there's more. Back to the mustard. Donald has told us the name of the alien invaders, the last reality. And the closest synonym to the phrase the last reality is Singularity. That can't be a coincidence. Not only that, but Donald also told us that Singularity is integral to the story and that she has another name. If you know my channel, you'll know that I've believed for a long time that Singularity is Paradigm, a member of the Seven who never appeared in any cutscenes or lore. She appeared one day and was gone the next. And she also has the exact same physique as Singularity. Could this be here to put us off the scent, or is she the queen and leader of the last reality, looking to restore a singularity paradigm to the loop? The evidence is certainly there. The return of Chapter 1's POIs in their exact position without any reason. The worlds are realigning into one, and now we see the mothership literally lifting locations out of the ground and taking them into the mothership. At the event, this was taken even further with the aliens scanning us for information about the Zero Point and its power. I wouldn't be surprised to see Singularity as the leader of the alien race. I guess we wait and see. Theory 4. The Return of Agent Jones At the beginning of Season 6, Agent Jones brought back the founding member of the Seven, the Foundation, and it became apparent they knew each other. I can get you to Geno. And the sisters. I can get you all of them. But then one lost their memory and the other became a rock. No pun intended. Fast forward a season and the foundation is free, but as of yet, he still hasn't been found or given up his location. Back to Twitter we go, as Donald Mustard spoke about how much Troy Baker knows about the Fortnite storyline. And for those who don't know, Troy plays Agent Jonesy in Fortnite. He also plays Joel in The Last of Us and the spin-off second game about golf. This tells us either Troy has recorded his lines for future events and seasons, or Donald was unable to keep a secret, and so far, he's been great at keeping secrets. Will Season 8 bring back the foundation, and will we finally know what the heck is Geno and the sisters? Please Fortnite, we need answers. Theory 5 is about the seven realities. mention to an original theory from back in chapter one and i think it kind of holds up today what do you think when you hear the seven seven individuals right this theory is based around seven realities making each member of the seven the same person from a different variation of the world 
If you've watched the Loki TV show, you'll understand this further. Each reality is slightly different, which branch off from a singular timeline. The anomalies are then hunted down and eliminated to preserve a singularity. That word again. What would happen if all seven versions of the same person met up across those seven realities? I don't think it'll happen, but we were hella smart back then in chapter one. GG's on this theory. Theory six, darkness returns. Kevin the Cube has been at the forefront of our thoughts since his days when he showed us the multiverse. During the live event this season, not only did we see Kevin, but we saw his location on the current map. It's just by Graham the Gnome. How fitting. Kevin has been immortalized at Steamy Stacks, but it does now appear the real thing is returning soon. The cube randomly appeared in chapter one and did its own thing, leaving runes everywhere before making a lake bouncy. The cube was naturally drawn to the zero point, kind of like a yin and yang situation. The light being the zero point and the darkness being the cube. If the aliens are planning to bring it back, they should know about the darkness it harnesses. The dark variations of characters like the bright bomber all came about due to the cube and approaching it lets us see our dark selves. Now we know about snapshots and multiple versions of the same characters. The return of the cube could be disastrous to the island. It also could be weaponized. The cube could be the weapon the I.O. are looking for to sway the battle in their favor. Lots of options here. Season eight will be running over the Halloween period. So what a perfect time to bring back the darkness, the horror and the cube. Whichever option Epic take, I think we are in for a great season. I'm hoping Singularity is the last reality's leader and she'll return to the story harnessing the cube's dark energy. Which option is your favourite? I'll be snooping in the comments to find out. I'm Adam, you're awesome. And so are these people who use code Adamaru. Thank you so much, really appreciate you. Thanks for supporting me. I'll be back soon. See ya!